Okay, boys and girls, it's that time of year again. We are finally taking another look at my EDC for 2022. So we're going over some of the EDC essentials that are, are, that are on my body at basically all times. So without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And now let's jump right into it. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the blades. They're probably the most fun thing that a lot of people enjoy seeing. So to start off with it is the Benchmade 2750 Auto Adamus, and this thing has been my mainstay for a little while now. It's really just a fun blade to carry. It's super snappy, super strong automatic that just pops right out, and it's made out of CPM crew wear with the awesome G10, tan G10 handles. So a nice revision of the Auto Adamus, and uh, just a really fun knife to carry, and like I said, always a blast to fire this thing out, and it just comes out with such ferocity. Okay, so the neck knife for the EDC is the Spartan Blades Alala, and this blade is pretty solid. It's a pretty awesome fixed blade that, because it's not super wide or too crazy, it honestly EDCs very well. Throw it under a shirt and you barely notice that it's there. It is a little on the thicker side for me, but it does work very well, and it is an awesome little fixed blade if you are of the fashion of people that like to carry EDC fixed blades. Definitely would recommend checking this guy out. Pretty cool. And uh, I like the sheath as well, especially because it has this little locking thumb ramp here. So that locks it in, but the moment you slide that thumb ramp up, it unlocks it and it comes right out. So and that is the Spartan Blades Alala, and that is the neck knife. So my multi-tool, a pretty similar vein to the other knives. Uh, the multi-tool is the Leatherman Charge Plus in G10, and this has been a mainstay blade or mainstay multi-tool for me for quite some time. I really do love it. I was rocking a Charge, just a normal Charge Plus, long before I was rocking this one, but the G10 Charge Plus is definitely a very appreciated upgrade, and it also comes with S30V on its main blade, so really a solid option, and I do enjoy this thing quite a bit. Okay, so now let's talk about guns. So the Glock 19X is the EDC handgun, and the reason why still hasn't really changed, so that's why I still EDC it. And honestly, I still really love carrying it. It conceals much better than I was originally expecting, and overall it is a very carryable gun, as well as a very shootable one at that. So I am rocking the 19 round magazine, so 17 plus 2 uh, for the gun, and one in the chamber brings it up to a total of 20 rounds, and I definitely appreciate the capacity, and overall, really awesome gun, really sweet uh, rig to run. So I have no real complaints with it. Uh, I did change over the... Um, I did change over I did change over the slide release to this kind of extended ambi release, but aside from that, it's pretty much a stock gun and it works very well in that capacity. So other than that, the holster that it is in is a Milt Sparks Summer Special 2, and this holster is very comfortable, runs the gun very well in an appendix style carry, and as I've mentioned in several other videos, leather holsters are my favorite, especially when considering it's going to be up against your body. When considering the gun is up against your body, leather is more breathable than Kydex and is way more comfy. So this one in particular is horsehide and shark leather. So if you guys can kind of see that there. And that's primarily for durability, but also it helps make the gun and the holster look a little bit nice. So it's a little bit classy, but overall it's super comfortable in a very, very nice setup as a whole. In addition to that, I'm also running a Tolster. Um, spare magazine holster and a spare 19 round magazine so overall for ammunition pretty well set up and it is a really functional and overall pretty great rig to run okay so now moving on to some more EDC stuff. Uh, I have the truck keys or the taco keys for the Tacoma that I'm sitting in right now. And uh, this is just an AJT Designs blue taco key. And then I got, of course, my auto start for it because I live in Alaska. And it is on a recycled firefighter little uh, keychain that I've had for many, many years. So nothing too fancy or special there, but just pretty necessary stuff, obviously, for having the vehicle. 
Aside from that, I have the Phoenix LD30. This might get replaced by a newer model of Phoenix. Overall, though, I've been pretty darn impressed with Phoenix and their lights. They really make some powerhouse uh, flashlights that are super bright but very compact, such as this LD30 that you know fits inside the hand, but also at the same time is 1600 lumens of output. So it's very hard to uh, really to really not want to carry something that's this powerful but yet this small. Okay, so moving over to the pen. Now I bounced back and forth between the Big Idea Designs titanium pen and this Meritac brass pen. The primary reason I'm back to the brass pen is because I was finding that the click pen, while very handy and very easy to use one-handed, was getting actuated accidentally in my pocket quite a bit and I was not a fan of that at all and so I went back over to the Meritac Embassy just because it's very reliable and I know that uh, it's not going to accidentally open itself and dry out and have any accidents like that so that is the Embassy pen by Meritac. So next to those two pieces, another more kind of EDC stuff, I have my classic satin kind of just regular plain Jane Zippo lighter for starting fires, doing anything I need to do in that regard. And aside to that, uh, one thing that I am pretty excited about is my or my wallet has changed. It it was long since the Travax Summit wallet, which I really did love. It was a great wallet, and I've carried that for, I think, around four years. But I did recently replace it with an OpenSea Leather Cam wallet. So it has a similar kind of premise. It's primarily a card-oriented wallet, but uh, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to roll up some close-ups. I got it with orange thread to kind of make it pop just a little bit, but uh, this thing is very beautiful, very supple, super soft, and uh, I really am excited to finally replace my wallet with something that is a little bit more my style. So, like I said, this is the Open Seas uh, Cam. It's a little bit different. I know a lot of reviews and videos have been circulating on several of Open Seas other wallets, but I really liked the Cam personally, so this is what I'm rocking. Okay, so let's talk about some tech real quick. So the first thing is the phone. This is an Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max, and nothing has really changed much with this phone. It's still the same basic phone in its OtterBox Defender case. Uh, still works just fine for me. Probably not going to replace it, even with several new models being out. They just really aren't different enough for me to justify replacing them. And the same is basically also true with my Apple Watch. This is a Series 5, and it just has a black bump case on it, and it is running a Nike green uh, sport band. I will say I do really love these sport bands. They are so much more comfortable than the normal bands that you get. This is kind of silicone ones. Uh, these breathe a lot better and are much, much more comfortable. And so I definitely do enjoy that part. But like I said, uh, this is still just a Series 5 and it works just fine for me. And there's really not much more that I can say about either of these little guys. But um, yeah, overall, pretty good Overall, pretty good setup, and I definitely, uh, it works for me, so. Okay, so winding things down, thought I'd throw a few more kind of fun things out there. The water bottle right now is just a Nalgene, kind of just generic. This one is all stickered up, as you guys can see, but it's just a basic Nalgene water bottle. In addition to that, my usual energy drink for the... My usual energy drink is usually some kind of ghost. This one is just a Warheads, but I do like these ghost energy drinks because they are candy flavored and they actually taste pretty darn good and pretty spot on to the candies that they are designed to mimic. So overall, if you're looking for an energy drink, I would definitely recommend checking them out. Okay, so that basically wraps up the EDC for 2022. There's been quite a few changes and updates. I try to keep things reasonably fresh, but at the same time, if I really love something, then I'm probably going to stick with it and not really change it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and uh, in another video coming pretty soon, I'll probably cover some EDC priorities and some stuff that is ranks very highly for everyday carry, at least for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.